Well, my fears were certainly founded. I was about right about that part. Uh, but I realize that I'm not really, I haven't exhausted all my options yet. So let's not go there again yet. <laughs> I gotta remember that I have more options in that I could still go somewhere in here. There's more sunless city to explore. I need to get the I need to get there early. Where else does it say there's more to explore, by the way? Okay, it seems to say we're done with the interloper, like I found it. What's that little no symbol by there? Oh, the top right's the station, the bottom left is the white hole. God, fuck that place. Admittedly, these things don't necessarily say that that planet is out of things to explore, it's just saying that the locations I've found don't have things to explore. Because the places you find are marked with an asterisk when you don't finish finding everything in them. But you still have to find them in the first place. I believe the only instance of that in the entire system for me right now is, besides the, unex the completely unexplored locations, is the Sunless City. Yeah. So let's get a move on. Let's find what I've missed. After all, the timeline here is difficult. One noteworthy thing is that one noteworthy thing is that they might have actually, uh... They might have actually found the people in the third pod eventually. We have we have records of when they were isolated from them, but that doesn't mean they were forever. One thing I'm hoping is that if I get to this one location I haven't been to yet, maybe... Oh god, don't crash. Oh god, abort. If I'm lucky, then maybe we'll find out that they found a way to navigate the, uh, the Bramble. And if they haven't, then fuck me. Was the best way in again? Kind of forgotten. Okay. That's at least a way in. Oh god. God. Okay. Sorry. My autopilot. I didn't know you could break the autopilot. <laughs> Alright, I goofed that up. Alright, so this is one way to access the tunnels. We'll take this approach and see what happens. Ah. And I'll remind myself of what the fastest way inside is, if there is one. If I don't make it into the lower systems in time. Oh god, this was a whole thing, yeah. Wasn't it this one? That's just where the breathable air is. Left of the pit, then, yeah. Left of the pit, then up. If I go fast enough, it might not feel like I lost that much time. But I might need to find the fastest way in to access the lowest part of the city, considering it's filling with sand. And they normally had time to just wait for it to go back and forth, but uh, it fills up with sand and then the universe ends. So, whoops. Not universe, whatever.
I think that was basically it, wasn't it? So not a very long process, actually. I do need to figure out how to get inside that anglerfish hole that's back there. God, I can't see shit. Okay. There's the bottom bottom. Is there anything else down here? Oh yeah, there is. The high energy lab. Yeah, we've heard about this place. Yeah, let's go down before we go up. Oh yeah, just follow the wire. Except for when it probably goes through some bushes or something. Oh, great. Oh shit, it's on its way up. Alright, gotta go. Ah. Shit, problem. Uh, it's probably impossible to make it past the cactuses and everything. Fuck it. Uh. That's really not encouraging. Uh, my best chance might be... You had to wait for the floor to go over the cactuses. That, that's probably the only option. Okay. We have a really narrow time window, don't we? Yep. Oh, fuck. What? Shit. Okay. Shit, shit, shit. Yep, the fucking cable goes through other places. Ah, oh, god, it's really hard to see. And we're closing. <laughs> oh, 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 this is claustrophobic. And I'm running out of oxygen. Hopefully they have a tree there. Ah. Okay, we're higher up now. This goes the other way. Also, it's got the death stuff in it, so that's great. Ah. It's a peculiar spot. Maybe it's safer from the water for a bit? I'm a tad worried about ghost stuff. <laughs> okay. I think we're largely out of, out of range of the sand. Okay, cool. So this must be an area that I can safely explore for a while. We'll have to come back to explore the rest of the city later. Okay. Okay. Good. Gotcha. These are warp cores. I can move them. Is this how I warped the sun thing? Do I make my own path? This place seems wildly important, yeah. Hi. Records show Namai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Raimi and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple machine error. Raimi. In theory, we want to try to reproduce. Uh, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Hi. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup of the white hole station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. 
they're trying to recreate time travel and sh and display that it really is working and really happening. Raimi, an update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect of, to render it visible to the unaided eyes. Pi. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. Imagine the Sunless Sea's energy supply should be should prove sufficient. They probably use the massive flow of sand to create energy somehow, don't they? Pi. Of note, Raimi, Yarrow requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. Raimi, I'd hate to leave him in the dark. Pi. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Raimi and I are about to run a new test. Raimi. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis, hypothesis confirmed. Pi, this is beyond extraordinary. It changes everything. What a beautiful day for the interse intersection of abstract theory and practical application. So they were able to confirm that the thing going in went, went, came out before it actually went in. So it's going back in time. And that's huge. They had an incredible microsecond thing that was impossibly imperceptible. It was such a tiny thing that was originally being uh, observed in that, uh, via machines, and now they managed to make it so pronounced that somebody's eyes could see it happen, which is a huge difference in timing. There's more of them. Raimi. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it actually is sent through the warp. That's a really specific amount of time. That sounds relevant to me. Huh. Raimi, we've learned that the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Pi. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Raimi. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas, Pi. My pun was unintended, Raimi, so it's- uh, so I believe it's you who's error form. Currently. Heh, <laughs> cause energy. Pi. Raimi and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. A thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. Hi. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. Yeah. I gotta find that mask chamber. That's probably what they're talking about. Or they just mean those giant towers. Th those are probably energy... ...creators. Hey, this shows where each of them goes. None of the- so, twins... ...hearth... ...brittle... ...giant... Is that the sun station, maybe? The sun itself, maybe? That's not... ...briar. So, the one on the end... There's two bound together. There's the twin- the one that's bound to the twin. Which the twin building goes to the twin, go figure. Uh, the one bound to that. Are there two twin things in the twin one, I wonder? Does one of them go to that one? I imagine the one with the hole, the crevice cut through it is probably the one that goes to the ember twin, which also has a crevice in it. So this one probably goes to Ash, if it has one. So I should check again to see if it has a jump for me, because I, I kind of need that. There's also that one that seems to go to the sun. So the one bound to that goes to the sun directly. Which is what I'm trying to do. Because I want to go to that station. Hi. The Ash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need to... To build it, we need to find a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. So that, so just trying to create enough, that, that's what, that's what inspired all of this. 
They're like, this time travel shit's crazy. We need a ton of power to make this work. So they created a system to be able to warp between planets for that reason. Admittedly, it's not a very big solar system, so they probably could travel other ways more easily it would, uh, until then. Root, what if we use towers, like the one we have on the Whitehall Station, to connect each planet directly to Ash Twin? Yero, of note, each tower on Ash Twin will lead to a different planet. Blocks, we can design each tower to visually reflect the planet it links to. Blocks, the giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. Ah, good note. Clary. Okay, Root and I begin well, can begin to work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Are they all recognizable, though? The one that goes there probably had trees inside. That's probably the one I saw. I guess that's a cyclone. It has the, it has the twisty platform around the outside. The twins are the twins. I guess that one goes to the sun. It's a little hard to keep track of. But, uh... Print screen. <laughs> there we go. Keep a screenshot of that around. I want to have access to that in the future. This is just surface access? I don't think I've been here before, though. Wait. Wasn't I right here, like, recently? Yeah, that's that platform. So if I have one of those things, I can project. But I didn't find the staircase here. So I didn't know about this. And this. Sunless City. No, so the door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are currently running an experiment based on the extraordinary finding from the Whitehall Station. Hi. Raimi and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path in the sun of the city. Raimi. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. Raimi. An update. The high energy lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin project. If you're here to help, or even just to observe. Be sure to use the Sunless City path of the lab. I love this I love this alien race, by the way. They're great. They're an entire race of explorers and scientists. They're like all the best elements of the uh They're basically all the best elements of like Starfleet, essentially. They're great. And our race has turned out to be similar-ish, or at least they have a space program. So if you filter down to the people in the space program, it feels like that's what they're like all, all combined. All right, let's play with you and hope I don't die or something. What have I done? Did anything change up here? Not really noticeably. I also should keep this closed because they told me to. Not me, but them. They told each other to keep that door closed, so I should probably have that be closed if I'm doing the experiment. What is this window for? Uh... Oh boy. I'm gonna do something dangerous here, aren't I? Oh? What? Is this an open window? Yeah. 
it clearly... It clearly comes out before it goes in. That's what this is. This one's empty? So here's the thing, I wanna now, I wanna warp. But I have a problem. I don't know which warp core to take with me. So this might take another attempt. I might have enough time to keep, I might have enough time to make a few return trips. So I'm not entirely sure, but I think that the, lo the warp that would take me to the sun was broken. It probably was. So if I want to go to the, the sun station, I need to repair the warp thing on the ash place. And if I want to do that, then I need to have one, the right one to bring with me. And I don't know what it is, so I just grabbed one. I grabbed the dark one, and we'll find out. I didn't know I needed this information until just now, so I didn't know which to look. I didn't know to, that I needed to even write this kind of thing down, for example. All right, Ash. Okay, yeah, that one goes to the sun. It clearly looks like the sun from this side. Oh, fuck! Ugh. Okay. I'll be... Okay, no, I don't want to land here. Let's land down here. Away from get shit. Come on, man. Ah, God, I flying is a disaster in this game. <laughs> it's not even entirely its fault. It's just that flying a ship is hard, and the gravity axes of these individual planets is so fucky that like good luck. Ah, shit. Hi, son. So I have the wrong one. You can go in from below. But I also have the wrong one. It has a dark- it has a dark thing. That's the side I access it from. Okay. We gotta go back. Oh god, the sun is- <laughs> Look at the curvature of the planet! Like, it's so- It's bizarre to look at- Ow, I'm sorry, me. I can't judge my speeds very well anymore. We might run out of time. Alright, let's go back. And the goal is to land there without going into the sun. So I need to find the weird solar sail looking thing. Which I don't know where that was. There it is. Cool. You're the right one, right? Yeah. You can tell I read that today, because its its writings are all expanded out. Motherfucker. Okay. You're getting hard to control, man. Wait, what am I doing? My- Ah! I got my wires crossed. Like in a dumb w whoa. Oh, I'm not getting anything out of here anyway. It's all filling up. I didn't know it could. I just wasted time. Damn it. Why did I... Everything I did was wrong just now. I looked in the building and saw that it already had the th why did I yeah, fuck. Listen, multitasking's hard. Let's playing's hard. <laughs> uh where is the planet? 
So what happened is I saw the dark core and thought, oh god, see, it's, I already have the same one. That's, that's bad. Because my brain was operating on the assumption that whatever's in there is broken and therefore I need to switch to the other one. But that's not what my initial goal was. My, my, go my original goal was under the idea... God, I can't fucking move. No, don't go into the sun. I think we're about to die. I don't think I'm gonna... I'm probably... Why? I can't fly you. Is the sun pulling me into you that hard? Because that's bad news for me. Has it become impo- I think it's become impossible to fly. Shit. I think we've reached the part of the game where it's impossible to actually fly around anymore. No. 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 No, I don't want to go to the sun. I want to go away from the sun. There we go. Okay, no, I, I'm going. Please go onto this thing. Don't go into the thing, though. That's bad. I'm pretty sure that's bad for me. Oh, my fucking god. Alright. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Alright, well, fuck my ship, because space is probably about to cease to live soon. Ah, uh, I wish I didn't get my wires crossed and think that I had to go back. Because I didn't at all. Not for that reason, at least. Fuck, that's what this place is. This is the place that's all fucked up. Ah. I don't need you. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna die. Yep. 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 Jesus. Is it even possible to go through that? Ah, oh, poor guy. Yeah, so I, w I was going there under the assumption that the inside of that place was all ruptured. I mean, no, no, what am I saying? Um, I saw... This is hard to articulate. I, I saw one of the jumping spots and it was broken. And then I set out to go to the sun place, and I thought that place would be the one that was broken. So when I saw something, and I, and I saw that it... I saw anything that contradicted anything, really, I was like, Oh shit, now I'm fucked, I gotta, I gotta go back. Because I was just kind of prepared for the idea that I'm like, Oh, I probably grabbed the wrong one, I have to go back and get it. So the... So like, it was already a dark core, so in my brain, I'm, I immediately thought, Oh, shit. Because, like, because I inherently thought that it was a broken thing that I had to fix, I thought, Oh, it's dark, that means I have to switch it to light. So then I went back to get a light one, and just didn't even question it until it was too late and I'd already left the planet. Uh, but I was thinking of the other broken one, because I think it was one of the twins. I think that was the one that I visited, where that twin... Uh, I'm getting a headache. <laughs> the, uh, I think one of the twin buildings, I don't remember... God, it's a lot to keep in your head at once. One of the towers was broken. It had like, you look at the weird slit viewport thing and it was all crumpled up and it didn't seem to be a functional one and I didn't use it when I tried, when I did use all the other ones one by one that one time. So that's the one where I, there's a decent chance I probably need to pick up a core and take the correct one there and fix it and then use it. But that's separate from going to the sun, which looking at what happened there, it looks like going to the sun might require you to be able to finesse, platform your way through that, that, that entire building full of, uh, cactuses, which might be possible, but it looks rough. So I'm not totally sure about that one. Uh, that's going to be brutal if that's even the right solution, but I'm thinking it might be because I've, I've seen through the top window that you can go into the sun tower. There's, or at least, I, don't, I haven't necessarily seen that you can go into it, I've just seen that there's stuff in there. So I want to go there. 
but that might be tough. I don't know, we'll see. Better than getting eaten alive. Mm -hmm.